All right. Shalom, Israel. This is the brother of War of Ba, along with, uh, I got a special guest with me this afternoon. I got the brother Sai Nala in the building. Shalom, Shalom. And uh, we represent Great Millstone Dallas. Coming back to you again with another quick lesson. Uh, before we kick it off, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of, of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful and humble elect that's out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the planet Earth. And uh, shalom to you sincere aqua that are out there listening and that are subscribed to this channel as well. Mm -hmm. All right. And so today's topic, what I want to go into briefly is just, you know, um, there's been a lot of information going on about, you know, this um, late rapper who's passed away named Nipsey Hussle. Um, you know, and surrounding his death and all that other stuff. And people our people are really shook up behind this whole situation. Okay. So um our people, you know, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, they're all, you know, sad and going out and doing all these other things when they don't realize that nobody dies innocent. Okay. They're acting like, how can this happen? How, you know, why did it have to happen to him? Why couldn't it be somebody else? Well, in reality, man, you got to realize this guy wasn't following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't keeping, he, you know, he wasn't keeping the customs of an Israelite. Mm -hmm. All right. And so, you know, today we're going to talk about that. Hopefully this lesson is edifying. Right. Lord willing. Right. Okay. Quick Run it. This is Sirach chapter 5, verse 7. Mm-hmm. Sirach chapter 5 verse 7 says, <clears throat> Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and mm -hmm. put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. So suddenly shall the wrath come forth. Okay. So even in the even in where you just kind of just hanging out and you 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 don't know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. You have no idea when the Lord is gonna come back to get you, man, when he's gonna bring judgment upon you, when he's gonna send that angel to come get you. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you have, you want to speak on that? Yeah, just like the dude died. He died, you know, he just standing right outside of, I forget if he was at his home or somewhere, and then someone just came up and just blasted him, you know? Um, and so, yeah, somebody just came up and, and, uh, and uh, blasted him, man. And so that was the spirit of Yabash and Yashad that did that, man. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, Jake out there with the conspiracy theories and, and all those Illuminati. Well, the nigga just came out of the nigga just killed him, man. You know, it was just the most I was like, take him, it's time for him to go back to the spirit world. Yeah. You know, it's, it says, it says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And that was the wrath of, of Yahabashim Yahusha that uh, I had him put to death. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed mm -hmm. and perish in the day of vengeance, man. That's right. It says perish in the day of vengeance. So nobody's above death, man. And there's a lot of you out there whether it's so-called Christians or so-called believers or whatever you may you may believe in, you actually think, you ask yourself, you know, how the, the Lord can do this, the Lord can do that. Well, in reality, the Lord killeth and he maketh alive, man. The Lord is about balance, okay? So that's that's what you got to understand about that, mm -hmm. okay? Come, bring it Job up. Job chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. Right. Can you read that again, Baba Kusha? God, it says, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. Whoever perished being innocent, man. So if you think about it, you, you ever wonder why, why babies pass away or babies die or little children die or somebody else that, you know, that was an elder passes away or somebody that dies before their time. It says, whoever has perished being innocent. So no one's innocent, man. Okay. Not at all. They had, they've done something either in this life or in a past life, okay, that they have to answer for, mm -hmm. all right? And that ultimately goes into reincarnation, okay, because reincarnation is in the Holy Scriptures, all right? But right. Th that's a whole other topic, you know, neither here nor there. We ain't, ain't going to go off into that because we don't want to digress. Right. And even though we have the greatest example, Yahweh shot. You know, he didn't sin not one time, but he had to suffer the sins of... Uh, <clears throat> He had to suffer the sins of the, uh, uh, for uh, him uh, being uh, when he was King Solomon. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know? 
So the most high requireth that which is past, man. Okay? And that's just that's just the way it is. And you Israelites out there, man, you're getting caught up in this whole propaganda and this media, you know, about this guy. I mean, sure, he was doing some things good for his community and trying to give back and everything. But you guys are taking it too far and making it seem like he was some type of a prophet, man. Or like this guy was, you know, more than what he was. Mm -hmm. Or more than what, yeah, more than what he was. You know? Mm -hmm. All right. Did you, uh... All right, I can grab a... Amos 3. Okay. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 6. It says, Shall a, tra a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil uh, in a city, and the Yahweh have not done it? All right, let's deal with that. And it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid. Okay? So what happens whenever there's something there's a there's a there's a warning of danger, okay? Mm -hmm. People people get shook up, man. Just think about it like I'll give you a prime example. Whenever I was younger, I lived in the Midwest. And in the Midwest, around April or March, May, around that time, there is tornadoes. That's what you consider tornado season. All right? And so when we would hear these loud sirens go on, people would get shook, man. You know, because they knew what that they knew what that meant. They knew what time it was. It was danger. Okay? So shall a, sh a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? That's right, man. So that show it goes to show you that the Lord Yahweh, the the heavenly Father, the Alpha and the Omega does kill, he does create evil as well as he is righteous. Okay, it's about balance. Okay, there's a left hand and then there's a right side power. Okay, when there's a left hand side and a right hand side. Okay, so yes, the Lord does kill. Okay, for all of you, 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 you so-called Christians that are out there that believe that when somebody passes away that the Lord didn't do that. Absolutely, yes, he did do that. Okay, and the scriptures tells you so. If you can, brother, can you grab uh, um, First Samuel? John. First Samuel chapter uh, two, verse six. Baba Kusha. John. This is First Samuel chapter two, verse six. It says, um, "Yahweh killeth and maketh alive; he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up." It, exactly. So it says, "The Lord killeth and maketh alive." Okay, He does both of those things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bringeth you down to the grave, and he bringeth you up. Okay? And you can find numerous accounts of that throughout the scriptures, man. All you have to do is read. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. God. It says, The Lord killeth uh, and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. That's right. So, so yeah, he issues forth death and life, man. You know? And so, yeah, you know, it, it was just time for that dude to go, man. But, you know, Jake worried about these uh, high-profile guys. But uh, Jake around killing each other all damn day, man. Mm -hmm. And cities all over the world. And don't nobody have nothing to say about that, man. Esau poisoning the hell out of you every day. Being wicked as hell all day long. Going around bombing, killing people. Babies being raped and murdered. And Jake don't got nothing to say. And mm -hmm. one, one nigga uh, 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 gets shot that they know from TV. And now they want to have vituals and, and, and do challenges and, and why well, it got to be like this and all that, man. Exactly. And that's why the Lord's going to destroy two-thirds of our people, man, because y'all rebellious. And y'all refuse to come back to the Heavenly Father, man. And more and more, you guys going to get destroyed and, and killed, man. Yep. This ain't, this ain't a new situation, man. Okay? This is going to continue to happen. Yeah. And it's going to happen to more of you high-profile people. And it's gonna happen to you, you people on a low level too, man. Well, they glorify you. All you do is they glorify violence, man, and that music constantly, man. Always talking about uh, uh, popping other men's women. Always talking about shooting somebody, man. Gang mentality and doing drugs. You know, I don't listen to a lot of this guy's music, but sh shit, if it's anything like everything else, he's just like everybody else, man. Con, right? He, hey, you know, you promoting it, man. Yep. And so once that's your front door, hey, you know? That's right. And also, man, you know, you for you people that don't that don't serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh that doesn't mean that he's not gonna get you, man. The Lord says if you know, 
you either you either with them or against them. Okay, and I got a, uh, another quick precept. I'm gonna drop down here. This is First um, Samuel uh, chapter two verse ten. <clears throat> it says, uh, actually, I'm gonna start at nine. He says, "He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord Yahweh shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth." And he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed, man. So that's exactly what's going to happen, man, in that time. You know, when, when our big brother Yahweh comes back and he cracks them clouds, he's going to begin at his sanctuary first. Meaning he's going to start with you Israelites, you or you two-thirds, you, you niggas, man. He's going to start with you first. And then he's going to work his way out to the other nations. Just like a parent whenever... They child is being terrible and being bad, and they're amongst other people. You know, and you roll up, you are gonna start whooping your kids first. You know, and then you gonna spread, you gonna spread whooping to everybody else's child, man. That's just that's the way it's gonna happen. All right. Do you have something else, brother? I had a precept. Bring it up. Uh, this is Sirach thirty-nine. It says there be spirits that. For vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the mm -hmm. time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made me. Right? Which is your house shot, man. You know? And so they're appeasing the wrath of him that made him. They're there. So it's pleasing to the Heavenly Father for those spirits that lay on those sore strokes. It says, Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword. Punishing the wicked to destruction. Man. Okay. It says they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is. And when does that need is? To, to, to kill and maim and destroy. So it pleases the angels and the, and the Lord to, to uh, when, when uh, that vengeance is sent out, man. God. Now that might sound morbid, but it's the commandment of Heavenly Father, you know. It says when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. So they're going to. They're going to do what the Yahweh Shem Yahweh tells them to do. And if that means putting 50 bullet holes in somebody, then that's what's going to happen. That's right. That death angel is the ultimate hitman, yo. Right. And Just he... like that Edomite, when he went into that mosque, they shot up all the people with that gun, man. Mm -hmm. There was a death angel on that on that dude, man. And he was sent to uh, put, send all those people back to the spirit world. Yep. Okay. Lord does not miss his mark at all, man. What he says out his his word is not gonna come back void, not one bit, you know. And so, <clears throat> as you as you guys understand, I mean, so I mean that's pretty much the point of what we were going into about the whole thing, man. You know, there's nobody that dies innocent, nobody, not one person. Okay, you have to answer for something. Everybody has a, a begin, a beginning date, and an expiration date. Okay. So, do you have anything else, brother, you, you no, want to bring out? That's it. Okay. And so, with that, we're going to end. But before we uh, before we wrap everything up, we're going to give all praise, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful and humble elect. Shalom.